Welcome back to Panasonic Live at ISE 2017. We've been working with a number of specialists at ISE this year to pull off a visual spectacular on the booth. Our showstopper is behind us, and it's the, the, the technology that's behind it is what we're going to investigate now. With me is Luke Permans from uh, Painting with Lights, who are professional lighting and production experts, and also John Barker, who's from Airstage, who've bought the, uh, the radio-controlled air orbs that we can see behind us, who serve as a moving projection canvas. Luke, I'm going to start with you, if that's OK. Tell us about how the, the, the sequences were created, if you can. OK, um, when Panasonic came up with the question to create a story, um, we got involved with all these incredible techniques, and the question was to uh, create a really interactive and complex show. And then, uh, yeah, the, the story uh, we wanted to create was that, that any uh, sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. So we came up with that magic story, and we tried all these complex techniques like Airstage and D3 and Black Tracks. Uh, we used Notch to create interactive content, and that's why we created the story. Uh, and does the fact that the, the air orbs are moving, does that, does that change how you think in that creative process? Yeah, it is, because that's really, really complex to create real-time tracking and real-time mapping on it. So that's, it was quite a challenge to get this uh, developed. And, and John, uh, moving on to you, what kind of events are you seeing the air orbs used in? Oh, very varied. We're mainly in the marketing and the entertainment business. Marketing is a lot of trade shows, something like this, um, other shows on the road marketing things like uh, advertising campaigns and so, TV ads, we do a lot of that. And then the entertainment business, which goes widely from uh, theme parks through to theaters to also TV shows as well. So mainly marketing and advertising, that's where we're seeing these objects being used. I was just thinking, any, any safety concerns with this kind of thing? It's Abs very close. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely none. They're completely safe to use. Uh, unlike a drone, which of course, when, when the motor stopped working, it'll fall out of the sky. Our objects are basically floating in the air. They're neutrally buoyant in the air, so they, absolutely, they have absolutely no weight as such. So there are no safety issues with flying these objects over an audience in an indoor space. OK, John, Luke, thank you for joining us on Panasonic Live at ISE 2017. Don't forget, if you're coming by the show this week, we're in Hall 1 on stand H20.